Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to be vlogging again and it's currently 7am, so early. And I'm up and I'm dressed and I'm ready and the kids are ready. I'm going to head downstairs and make some breakfast. We're going to drop Grey at preschool and then we're going to look at a school, like a big girl primary school. We're in that phase of life now. We're going to go look at some schools. We need to apply by January and she'll be starting school next September. How mad is that? So this is our first one today that we're going to go see. I'm excited and nervous and and my mind is just blown. I'm not sure what we have in store for this vlog, but carry on watching and we shall see. Right, one-handed breakfast making. I'm actually just gonna have some Cheerios because our card is coming tomorrow and we've got nothing here today. This week's Freddy's flowers are looking beautiful and very autumnal. Also, look how cute this new butter dish is. I got it from H&M Home. We've actually never had a butter dish before. We normally keep it in the fridge, but I thought I'd try something new. My mum uses a butter dish and it just makes sense so I love it it's like this green actually would you call that gingham because it's like big I don't know it's really cute everyone always asks where this garlic pot is from I actually can't remember does it say on the bottom uh, oh Zara home for ages ago I love this little garlic pot. I am very much looking forward to getting a dining table. We've had to bring the table from outside in and cover it and it just, it's just weird and I'm bored and I'm ready to have my like nice dining table and have dinner at the table. We did order one a while ago. I gave in and ordered from Maid, which I really didn't want to. I love the small things that Maid do. I love the lighting. I love the like accessories. I find the furniture. Just couldn't find anything. I looked everywhere. What we needed was really specific. It was like oval, extendable, wooden top. But anyway, this one had wooden top black legs, which I thought went really well. I don't know. I love like the accessories and the lighting that May.com do, but I haven't had great experience with the furniture. I find that like it doesn't last that well and it obviously takes ages to arrive, but I don't know. I just, I, I found that there really wasn't much choice. I looked everywhere. So I did give in and I ordered a table from May.com and it's taking like 12 weeks to to come it's so frustrating um so i don't even know if we're gonna get it before christmas but hopefully the more i forget about it the time just goes quicker i'm excited to have a nice like dining space there you're gonna go into your little house uh big <laughs> okay does it need new batteries yeah it's the season of advent calendars and this week i've been sent Space NK advent calendar. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy, I can't take it out. This one would be like top of my list, I reckon. It's 215 pounds, but has the value of 770 pounds. Oh my gosh. It's got brands from Rare Beauty, JVN, Rose Ink, Summer Fridays, Tatcha. I mean, Space NK have the most, ooh, actually says, shows me what's in it. A lot of full-size items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of the items are full-size. Space NK are just like, they have been upping their game so much. Like the brands they stock, they're so, so good. Let me show you what the advent calendar looks like this year. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Gorgeous red color. <gasps> wow, they've gone for like a red and pink theme this year. So I think as usual, these pop out. And then inside, I'm just gonna open one. This is a small one. I don't wanna give anything away for those who are getting it. This is just a little one. This is number 18. And this is a Laura Mercier. Ooh, one of the cream eyeshadow sticks. I love these in a gorgeous light brown color. Oh, this is just dream. It is the dream, honestly. So these are now in stock. If you are wanting to get a special gift for yourself or for someone else, gorgeous. I have left the house. I needed to get my eyebrows threaded and go to a few shops to return some things, but I think I'm gonna have to check in with you when I get home because Vlogging in a shopping center is far too embarrassing. Okay, so since I last vlogged, which was actually this morning, I've been to a shopping center. I was gonna vlog there, but it was just a bit awkward. I can't really like walk around vlogging when it's somewhere where people are really looking. And anyway, I was in a mega rush just trying to tick things off my list. I had to take something back to H&M, I had to take something back to Mango, and I had to get my eyebrows threaded because they were out of control. I went to Blink Brow Bar, my absolute favorite place. Also picked up some lunch. So I was in a bit of a rush. I did 
pick up a couple of things whilst I was there, which I can now show you. Sorry that I wasn't vlogging when I was out. I know it's far more interesting than me vlogging in this room where I always vlog, but next time. Rudy has nothing to wear for Halloween, so I just got him this little t-shirt, which I figured he could like wear again, like trying to not be too wasteful this Halloween. Whilst I was in H&M, I thought I'd do a quick exchange and I actually picked up this jacket, which is from their sports range. I thought this would be perfect for tennis because a lot of jackets I can't play tennis in, they're kind of too big and too puffy. This has quite like normal sleeves, but then almost has like a built-in gilet, like a puffy bit that goes around your body to keep you warm. I'm gonna continue playing tennis throughout the winter, but it's quite rare to have indoor tennis courts in the UK, like you have to be a member of a club um, and they're an absolute fortune. So um, my little locus te local tennis club where I play tennis is just outdoor court courts. So it's gonna be cold, I'm gonna have to get gloves and stuff, but for now I thought this would be handy. And then I also found some trousers. I've been on the hunt for some non-black trousers for so long. I very, very quickly tried these on. They're like slightly on the snug size, but I'm really in between, in between sizes at the moment. It's annoying because none of my jeans, jeans seem to fit. Like it's great, now I'm playing tennis twice a week and I've got a PT, losing a little bit of that post baby weight, um, but annoyingly none of my jeans fit. And I really don't wanna have to buy all new jeans. Can you get jeans altered? I'm gonna try and shrink them in the tumble dryer. But anyway, so I'm kind of in between sizes. I got a 12, they're a little bit tight, but they do fit. Um, and they're these really nice, kind of like a light camely trouser, like suit trousers. They're really nice. I'll show them on in an upcoming video because I think I'm gonna do like a bit of an autumn style video. I also popped into Space and K and I got myself a new lipstick. This is from Rare Beauty and it's the new Kind Words Matte Lipstick in the shade Humble. The lady in Space NK was so helpful. I picked up a couple of shades to try that were not at all what I wanted. Like I wanted something that's really easy to throw on, kind of like my lips, but better. And she was like, can I suggest Humble? Um, oh, it's got sellotape on it. One second. So let me show you. Looks like this. Should I just put it on? It's like a brand new bullet. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I can't see what I'm doing there. One minute. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Feels a bit like, whoa, I'm wearing lipstick, but I guess I'll only like avoid that by getting some sort of like balmy lipstick. That is a really nice color. I really like that actually. I also just got a John Lewis delivery and I'm really excited about this. Actually, let's go sit over here. Let's get comfy for a minute. Did you remember one of my previous vlogs? I did a little bit of an H&M home haul. In that with these cushion covers, I thought they were really nice. Let me open them up now actually. They're this checkerboard style, which is very in at the moment, but also kind of a classic, um, in a really nice neutral colour. But I wanted to order my cushion fillers from somewhere else, because I find that the synthetic ones from H&M, they just don't look that nice when they're... Like, I do think the cushion with a proper feather filling is much nicer. So I've ordered from um, John Lewis a couple of cushion fillers. I just think like, look, you can do the nice, the chop. You can do the chop and they just, they sit nicer than a synthetic filling. So let's see, I ordered two cushions. I actually don't know if these are going up here in the loft or downstairs in the lounge, but I saw these cushion covers on H&M and just thought they were really nice. But yeah, I would say, I would avoid getting the actual cushions from H&M. These John Lewis ones feel really nice. I just think it makes it look more expensive. There you go. And look, that is so nice. Maybe I'll leave them up here. So we went to see the primary school this morning. Oh my God, it was so weird. Just feel so grown up doing things like that. Like feels grown up for Gray, but also like for me, like how am I a parent with a child that's gonna go to school? It's just completely bonkers. It was good. Like we're really lucky. I think the primary schools in our area are really good. Um, we'll struggle for secondary schools, but that's a while away. So it's more just about like getting to know them because you don't know which school you're gonna get. So it's nice to know all the different options and um, like, ask questions, although I have to say I really didn't prep, I probably should have, um, because when it came to question time, I was like, ah, I don't really know what I'm asking, but I did ask a few questions, and it's nice just to like, feel the vibe, I guess. So yeah, that was the first, that was my first ever primary school open day, and we've got a few more coming up soon. How grown up of us. Oh, lovely. So happy with those. So nice. They actually really go with this um, sofa, I think. Also, I've got um, Capietra, 
who are a tile company. I've used their tiles in this bathroom. I've used them in the pink toilet downstairs. And we've got them on our front step outside our house, which I've never shown you, but they're really nice. They're coming over next week or the week after to shoot a reel for their Instagram. So they want to make some content for their Instagram and they want to visit some of their favorite projects that use their tiles. So I've said, of course, come over and we can shoot a reel here in the loft bathroom. I absolutely love this bathroom. It's pretty much finished, but there are a few little bits. Like it would be nice to add some little like accessories and stuff. And the lovely PR who's coming over to shoot the reels was like, please, as a thank you, let me send you some stuff um, to put in the bathroom which was very kind of her. So she's just, I said, oh my God, that noise is so annoying. Oh, it's the blind on the wind. She totally had a vision and I was like, just go for it. I trust you, whatever you like. So she sent me like a box of goodies. So maybe we could style them together now for the bathroom. I mean, she's bought a lot of stuff from Hay, which is a brand I love. And talking about checkerboard, look at this towel. Such a nice towel, love that. So I think she's ordered three little towels to style on the um, on the ladder, the little towel ladder that I've got. So when guests come over and they need a proper shower towel, we can always keep them in the cupboards, but this one, this one, and a brown one. It's all lovely, like neutral tones. And then what else is in here? A candlestick, again from Hay. Love that, candlestick holder. Give that a whirl in there. A toothbrush. You know what it's like on like photo shoots. You wanna set the scene. A very beautiful hay wooden toothbrush. I use electric toothbrushes. Isn't it so weird once you've started using an electric toothbrush? I mean, I've used one for years, but I think I was a little bit late to the party. Once you start using an electric toothbrush, going back to a manual, like I know some people who use an electric toothbrush at home and then when they go away on holiday, they take a manual toothbrush. I could never do that. I always take mine away with me. Cause I just think once you go electric, you can't go back. It feels like a limp handshake. Ugh, this is a beautiful looking toothbrush. This will definitely be just for show. Also, these soft brushes are very good for cleaning rings. Very liquid, soapy water, a soft toothbrush. Uh, what else is in here? Oh yeah, she showed me this. This looks lovely. This is from a brand called Garden Trading. This is like a soap dish, like a, con is it concrete? Granite soap dish. Ooh, look at that beauty. I would love to make things like this. I know I talk about it all the time, but honestly, if I didn't do this for a job, I would love to like train as some kind of like ceramics, something like that. I just, I love it. I love it. I would love to be able to like make stuff like this. Really, really nice. And this little pot as well. I should probably buy a plant for that then. Let's go to the bathroom and see what these look like. Okay, so let me take you into the bathroom. This uh, ladder is from Zara Home. And I've just put the hay towels on, which look really nice. I don't think I've hung them right. I just don't really understand how you're meant to hang towels on these things. Like, I don't know. I've, I've tried. I'm sure they'll be redone for the shoot. Over here, we've got, this is from West Elm. I've had it since my wedding. This is the new thing from Hay. It looks really nice, actually. These little vases. And then this is the soap dish. I need to get some soap and the little toothbrush. I put the plant pot here, which I need to get something for. It's quite a bright south facing room. So maybe something like a cacti or something like that. Um, and then I've just put some, my the way hand soap. I don't know if we'll put these away for the shoot or not. I need to take this downstairs. This is my beauty pie um, shower gel. And that is my drink. <laughs> this little bin I love is from Zara Home. I think it's so nice. I just love this bathroom. It is such a vibe. So calming. All that stuff looks really nice. Maybe I'll move the candle one minute. Let's put these down. Maybe we've already got the height over here because of the vase. So maybe the candle can go like here. That might be nice. I think I'm meant to put group things. There's like an interiors rule, right? That groups of threes work. So maybe that little can be a little cluster over there. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly make some dinner. I'm actually not sure if this is gonna be for tonight's dinner or I might just like leave it as like a batch cook thing for another night. I'm basically making, well, I call it shepherd's pie. Sorry, it's a bit sunny in here. Um, I've always called it shepherd's pie, but I actually think shepherd's pie is traditionally made with lamb and cottage pie is made with beef. For some reason, my family have always called it shepherd's pie, but we use beef. 
I don't know. The way I do it is kind of like bolognese with potato on top, but I'm gonna add in a load of veg for the kids. So I've got some carrots, and I've got half a swede, that leftover chicken soup, got one leek in the fridge, um, an onion, I'm gonna just fry all the veg, brown off the mince, uh, probably throw some garlic in there actually, my little garlic pot. Um, just get that being really yummy, all the flavors together. Maybe some tomato puree, see how I go with that. Maybe a little touch of cumin just to bring out the flavors in the veg. And then I do cheat. Um, I could make my own mash, but actually I really love just using this. So after I've cooked it all, I put it in like a dish like this, um, and I will put on this microwavable mash, carrot, swede, and potato mash. So pretty much the same as what's in it, on top, so it's like double veg. Just, I find it a bit more interesting, a bit sweeter than just like plain potato mash. And I'll kind of use a fork to put that on top. So that is what I'm gonna do. Kind of wish someone was here to actually keep me company and talk to me whilst I'm cutting all the veg. This bit always takes the longest. I am just so in love with this time of year, autumn, I wish. It lasted longer like I just know it's gonna be winter in a minute it's gonna be freezing we're all gonna be wearing puffer coats on top of every outfit it's just I wish we had I wish autumn lasted until like January and then winter kicked in but it, autumn is oh my god my eyes autumn is so short um apparently it works if you hold a metal spoon in your mouth while you're cutting an onion it's got the eyes from autumn I can't vlog. I'm genuinely considering taking like an hour. Oh, fuck. Sorry, didn't mean to swear. Woo. Genuinely considering taking like an hour's lunch break sometime next week and just walking around and just taking photos of all the beautiful leaves. Like that's how much I love autumn. I, whenever I'm driving around, I'm like, I stop the car, I'm like, Rich, look at that house with the leaves on it. Like they're just so beautiful. All the leaves are changing colors. I've been teaching Gray about what happens to the leaves this time of year. She like picks them from the floor. We've been like painting leaves and oh, it just makes me so happy. I love it. I love autumn. I love the weather. I love the visuals. I love the clothes. I am a big fan. Okay, I can't vlog and hold a spoon and I'll come back in a bit. Okay, I'm currently making the shepherd's pie, which I think will be mine and Rich's dinner tonight. And then I'll take some out for the kids to have tomorrow night because it's not going to be ready in time for their dinner tonight. Gray's on her way back from tennis right now and I'm gonna put some fish fingers in the oven for their dinner tonight. And what else was I gonna say? Something else is happening. I don't know, they're gonna come home in a minute and it's gonna be chaos and I'll try and continue vlogging, but often what happens at this time of day is it just becomes like dinner, bath, bed, chaos time. Just wanna make sure their dinner's cooked in time. Grey just came home, went in the garden and said she found a good leaf. That is such a good leaf, I was just talking about the leaves. Why is it a good one, Grey? Because it's got different colour. What colours? Uh, orange, red and yellow. And it's kind of purpley too, isn't it? And purple. I love that leaf, good find. Do to find any more? Yeah. Should we keep this one? good leaf yeah. that is a good one let's keep it okay i keep seeing this on tiktok if you've got like stuff you can't get out of your pan you put in a dishwasher tablet and then boiling water let that dissolve See what happens. wow that is incredible there are marks on there that i haven't been able to get off for like a year that worked instantly what a hack. So finally sitting down for dinner. Dinner that's already cooked, isn't yeah, it? Well the best, done. The best okay. feeling. Yeah. Oh, we don't have to cook. Because now, what's the time? Eight. o'clock. We would be like starting to cook. So good. Um, we are going to watch Bear on Disney Plus, which yep. we started last night. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not as like, it's very different to other things we've been watching recently. All the dish Wash. washing machine sleeping. We have watched Inside Man, which was so good. I love Stanley Tucci so much. It was just so good. We, oh, I've got a spot here. We have watched Bad Sisters, which was just brilliant as well. Um, and then we've also watched Maxine, which was heartbreaking, but also a good watch. Those are the three three things that we've watched recently. Yeah, what was your favorite out of all of them? 
Um, Inside Man. So good. Definitely Actually, no. Bad Sisters. Bad Sisters. Bad Sisters was like a good combination of funny and gripping, which I don't know how they did that. And you kind of didn't very know where clever. it was going to go. You know the oldest sister wrote it. Oh, did she? Yeah. I felt like she's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. She's so good. I think she like directed and stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and Bear is different. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. You're quite it's, into it. Yeah, it's like gritty. I don't know why I keep saying gritty. It's like... It's just arty. different way. It's arty. It's very arty. Yeah, let's see if we can get into it. Um, we've got our shepherd's pie, cottage pie. What do you call it? What meat did you use? Beef. So it's... No, I know what it cottage is. Cottage pie. But did... Did you that what you called it growing up? No, I called it shepherd's pie. Even though you used beef, or did your my parents use lamb? Mm, not, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, they need to rename it. Yeah. Um. All right. I think. Am I gonna vlog tomorrow? Maybe. Very early start again today. I'm meeting um the beauty pie girls actually in King's Cross at quarter past nine. So I have got up early. I've got ready, and I'm gonna head to meet them. Working this morning with the kids this afternoon and then heading out tonight for a Christmas dinner. It's like Christmas dinner season. All the dinners have started. I need to put on some lipstick, but I've done the rest of my makeup and hair. I'm wearing double denim today. All right, I need to go. Before I head out, let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. So I've got a black vest up on, denim shirt, jeans, black boots, trench coat, and a black scarf, which I can't decide whether to wear because it's cold now, but it probably won't be cold later and my Whistles Vida bag. Made it to Dishoom at the one in King's Cross, which is one of my faves. Was it the first one to open in London? Maybe. Don't know. I feel like it was. Been here many times. It's huge. It's amazing. If you haven't been to Dishoom for breakfast, it's a good one. It's like interesting. You can get like sausage and egg naan or chai lattes, you know what I mean? Like interesting food. Last time I came, I actually had a vegan sausage naan. Molly Campsy told me to try it. It was delicious. Um, I'm not even vegan. Might get that again. Need a coffee though, because I can't really function. Can I have a loggy? Hi, Lucy's here as well. Just waiting for everyone else to arrive. Quickly looking at the menu, because I feel like when people are here, you know, and you're like making small talk and you're saying hi, um, you can't look at the menu. So I'm gonna make my mind up first. Breakfast was so lovely. I actually ended up going just for the sausage naan and it was delicious. They're massive though. I never end up finishing them. Um, I need to head into town to the Joe Malone Christmas press day, which is gonna be very festive. But just before I go, I'm gonna head into Astrid and meet you because the girl I just met with had the most amazing ear cuff in and I just loved it. And I wanna go have a look at it and try it on. Um, I literally couldn't stop staring at it the whole meeting. So let's go in there and see, because I know they've got a shop here in Cold Drops Yard. Here it is. I also wanna get another piercing, but I'm not gonna have time to do that today. This is the cuff I was looking for, but I think it's slightly too small for my ear. It's so nice though. And they also have this one which is really lovely, but it's much more of like a statement. This is what this one looks like. It's really nice. This one fits really comfortably. The one I went looking for was actually too small for my ear. It just didn't fit right. And then the other one was a bit too much of a statement. I ended up finding this one. My ear's a bit red just because I've been fiddling about with it. It's a single um, cuff with like these little kind of, I mean, they're not diamonds. I don't know what they are, but it's very subtle, really nice. Love it, love a bit of ear jewellery. Just popped into Jigsaw to try on um, their City Maxi coat. They've got it in like a really nice camely shade this year. It's lovely. It's like a really smart kind of structured long coat. I really like it. I need to think about it though. But yeah, it looks really nice on. And now I'm going to head into town. I've got the Jo Malone Christmas Press Day. I haven't been to the one for years. I don't think they've had them because of COVID. Um, it's always in there. Like beautiful townhouse, which is a beautiful building and it is always very extra, so I'll show you around when I get there. Okay, I'm just walking up to the Joe Malone townhouse now. Um, prepare yourself for like maybe 30 seconds of real Christmas in your face. Ready? Merry Christmas! Right, 
right guys, I am home. Jo Malone was so lovely, so Christmassy, really lovely, like minimal, kind of a bit more understated than they usually have, the, all the design and stuff. It's like big white polka dots. It was so nice to see so many people that I haven't seen for ages. Jen, Monica, Sabrina, Fleur was there, Gemma was there, lots of familiar faces. So nice to chat and see everybody. We were literally, it was really funny though, because we were like, do you remember back in the day where we used to stand here talking about lipsticks and now we're talking about like primary schools? <laughs> We all feel very like we've grown up together in this little industry. I'm home now. Um, it's kind of mid-afternoon. Uh, I'm going to hang with the kids. I'm gonna take Grey to her swimming lesson. And then I'm gonna get ready because tonight I'm going out again for Space NK Christmas dinner, which will be really lovely as well. Um, I need to like have some coffee, get some energy back, do a bit of work as well. I'm just gonna pack in as much as I can, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because this is gonna be super long by now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.